Today we're going to talk about one of the biggest marksmanship mistakes we see people making when it comes to trying to hit the bullseye. And sadly, it's perpetuated by most firearms instructors today who are trying to be helpful, but actually end up causing the student to do worse than they intended to do. And what this is all about is telling the student, focus on your sights. Find your sights and focus on them because that is your world when you're shooting. That's what a lot of firearms instructors will tell you. What we're about to tell you may shake your shooting world foundations, and that is your sights are not that important. The reason we say this is if you look, people will be at the range and they'll be trying to get their sights lined up just right. We call this ideal sight alignment, where you've got your front sight lined up so it's level across the top with your rear sight and even centered between the rear sights. We call that ideal sight alignment. You'll see people, they've got their sights kind of doing this and they're struggling and they want to get it lined up just right. And they actually end up trying to time their shot as it lines up dead center on that bullseye. But here's what I want you to try. Take your finger, your trigger finger, hold it straight up like a front sight post. Try focusing on it as if you were going to shoot like it was your front sight. And try pointing at some object across the room, wherever it may be, something small enough that you can cover with your finger. And try to hold your finger perfectly still. And you'll notice it doesn't happen. Your finger does not stay perfectly still. Now this is even more so once you've got a heavy object like a firearm in your hand. But even just with nothing in it, you'll see your finger doesn't hold still. But if you watch it closely, you'll notice that it always floats right back to the center of the object you're pointing at. You don't have to fight it and pull it, it just floats back there. In fact, if you look at it carefully, it looks like it's almost making a sideways figure eight motion, always coming back to the center of that object that you're trying to point at, right? So the number one mistake that we see people making at the range is they fight their sights. What we want to tell you is float your sights. Don't fight them, float them. For more information on this, why it works, and how to implement it even more effectively into your shooting, see our basic marksmanship course available on our website, www.safeinsight.net.